most sales and business proposals that I have seen are not terribly persuasive. And so in this video, I'm going to actually show you the proposal template that we use at our venture backed B2B SaaS company to get customers to sign the order form. I'll actually take you through step by step what's included in this document, including a real example that you can just edit and modify for your business, slap your logo on it and be off to the races uh, with your sales team. I'll uh, walk you through the, the step by step guide of, uh, of how to build out a proposal. And then lastly, I'll show you the exact AI prompt that we use um, to generate proposals. Uh, you just have to populate a few custom fields and uh, drop it into your favorite AI tool, whether it's ChatGPT or Gemini. And voila, you have got a beautiful, fully populated proposal that you can use for whatever product or service that you're offering. So let me jump in here. If, um, if this is the first video you're watching, I run sales and marketing for a venture-backed SaaS company. And uh, I share all the templates, the systems and frameworks that we use at our company that have successfully helped us grow uh, our business from two to 18 million in annual recurring revenue. And so this proposal template is what we use <clears throat> uh, when you get to the phase of, after you've done the pitch, you've done a demo, uh, you've established a business case and a customer vision with them. And they're at the point where they're saying, how much will it cost for me to go achieve these outcomes that you've promised? And so uh, I include that, what we use for in, inside this document right here. So on the first page, uh, what you're gonna find is just the read me. Um, this will give you some resources, some extra resources that you can go access. You can watch some YouTube tutorial videos, follow us on LinkedIn. Feel free to reach out to us anytime. I'm going to include a link to this Google Docs so that you can uh, download it and make a copy of it. Uh, if you want all the operating templates that we use, just go download the BPS sales playbook at growthbusinesstemplates.com. And then uh, we get into, I start with a, an example. So I just wanted to show this as an example. Um, so you could blow away all the other pages and just have this and use this as your um, uh, information on the cover page itself. And so very simply, it is you have your uh, proposal for whoever you are pitching. It's prepared for the specific buyer persona at that organization. It's prepared by the company. You can even include the account executive name in here, the sales rep's name in here, and then you want to date it. Um, then... Uh, we always lead with an executive summary. So this gives you a, uh, your buyer, the high level overview of what they're looking at, what's the investment they're going to make and um, what is the expected return on that investment or the promised outcomes that they're going to achieve. So especially when you're serving this to, uh, senior level executives, they want to just get to the point and understand what they're reading here and what the key takeaway is. Um, next we go into the current state of the business and their growth objectives. And so. Uh, you got to start with where they are today, understand where they want to go, and then help them get to that destination, that customer vision or that dream um, by taking advantage of your solution or your offering. Um, and then uh, I, I think this is important is the why now. So why, why make a decision now uh, to create a sense of urgency? And so we're always trying to find critical events in deals that drive urgency. And there's nothing like a a business reason is serving as the best reason. We try to, especially in SaaS, try to stay away from discounting um, to drive urgency. It seldom moves in the else. Like if someone's going to spend twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars with you, and you're going to give them a five percent, ten percent, even thirty percent discount at the end of the month, um, unless they are already ready to buy and sign, it's not really going to help move the needle. Um, so that's at least what I have discovered here. Uh, our proposed solution then gets into what is the solution overview. So, so the buyers can understand when they circulate this internally, you can, um, you can tell them, well, what is included? What am I actually buying here um, when I sign the order form? And then why it works. And so in this case, this is just an example of me pitching this rev pilot company, the growth business templates. So it's like these are proven uh, operating frameworks and systems that we've used at our venture back company. Then you've got a timeline. We always include a timeline. So in some cases there really is uh, no timeline. If it's a, uh, not a, um, a high enough deal value where they're going to actually work with someone one-on-one. -on -one. Um, if, 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 um, if they are going to work with someone then you include the timeline here and all the different phases and steps that they're going to go through the weeks and the key activities. And then this is what I see is most often missed is this projected 
ROI and impact. You got to get into the impact and talk about how your solution is going to impact their business. And I love having a quote inside our proposal. Um, that's just really powerful. It really brings the, the promise to life here. And uh, we've actually had multiple quotes that we use for different use cases, depending upon the, the buyer and what they're, uh, what they're purchasing our software for, for the various product lines that we offer. Then we get into investments, so how much are they going to pay and what's included for that investment? And then lastly, you summarize with the, the why, um, uh, why just remind them again of why your company, your solution is uh, worthwhile to invest in. So it's like they see the big investment number here. Um, in this example, it's not a huge number of 5,000, but let's say it's 100,000. You just want to remind them right afterwards um, why your company is the right company to partner with. And this can also just be done with some, some additional uh, logos here, select client logos, work with your design team to to drop in some nice logos there and make it look good. And then lastly, don't forget a call to action and next steps where you actually, um, you tell them what's next. And so you, they, I like to, I like to um, uh, be thinking way past the order form. So the order form is just a, a point in time. It's a step in the process, but let's schedule your kickoff call. And then, so then you just review and sign the agreement, submit payment, but let's, let's start thinking about the kickoff call and the success criteria and who you're going to be working with afterwards. And then be sure to include contact information of the sales rep, whoever is uh, sending this out. So that is a real example of a proposal. I like to include that in there. And then I, sh I show you a guide here, basically what I walk through now live. So I'm not going to go through that in detail. Um, but if let's say, for example, you don't want to have to generate that every single time. And instead, you just want to fill in the blanks here uh, for your company, describe your company, insert your prospect's name. You can do that or your sales rep can do that. They quickly type in this information. They fill in the gaps. Then you copy this prompt and you drop it into your favorite AI tool of choice. And it will print out what your um, what your uh, proposal will be. And then you can put that proposal information in that Google doc template. So, uh, I hope that you're able to take advantage of this. And this is super helpful and different from what you've seen from other, other proposal templates. Um, drop me any comments in the video below here. Be sure to like subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. I will see you on the next one.